McClendon, Alex Richardson, and Stephanie Schneiderman. Please welcome McKinley to Livewire. So I'll set up the scene a little bit because we're going to just plop you down in the middle of the story. Um, it's a musical about life, death, faith, and physics, as it must be. Um, so after Gracie's father is killed by lightning, she's sent to a Catholic school. And she has no idea why she's there, because she's not Catholic, and worse, she has no idea who her mother is. So while Gracie searches for these answers, she's introduced to physics by Sister Ludwina, and to Jesus by Sister Francis. And I can tell you from experience, it's very confusing when you learn about conservation of energy and the raising of Lazarus in one day, or Archimedes' principle and Jesus walking in the water. So, uh, like I did at her age, Gracie gets these new ideas all mixed up as she digs through them for clues. So in this scene, after a failed attempt to get a message from her father using a periodic table as a Ouija board, Gracie is now, yeah, Gracie's looking for another way to find out who her mom is, but her best friend and ally in the search, Lisa, is suddenly acting very strange. Sister Frances said yesterday that she had something special planned for All Saints Day. Whatever that is. Um, but I know her well enough now to guess that we won't be having class out on the lawn or making ice cream sundaes. You will do a one-page paper on your confirmation name, Saint. Yeah, see what I mean? Krista, what is your confirmation name? Monica. And what do we know about Saint Monica? Um, she was Saint Augustine's mother. In your paper, tell me about her virtues and her relationship with God. Angela, what is your confirmation name? Magdalene. What do you know about Saint Mary Magdalene? She had long hair that she used to wipe Jesus' feet. And she, um, knew a lot of men. <laughs> but Jesus said her sins were forgiven because she had loved very much. It's important to remember that Mary Magdalene was only able to overcome the deep flaws in her nature by the grace of Jesus Christ. Gabriella, St. Agnes, a Roman guy ordered her to marry his son, but she said no, so the guy wanted to kill her. Very good. But he couldn't execute a virgin, so he had her dragged naked through the streets to a brothel. That's enough, thank you. When anyone tried to touch her, was struck blind. She was tied to a stake, but she wouldn't cry. I said enough. So a Roman guy stabbed her in the throat. Stop talking. Her skull in a church in Rome. She was the Virgin Mary's mother. Yeah. Being someone's mother is not the same as being someone. And is what, the saint of lace? Don't you think you're being a little How do we know that Mary wasn't who she was in spite of her mom? That is a very interesting perspective, Lisa. Please write me a two-page paper on your groundbreaking theories regarding the grandmother of Christ. Gracie. Not confirmed? Choose anyone you like. Here is an encyclopedia of saints. Please, get started, girls. I want your papers by the end of class. Hmm. Widows, monks, virgins. Yeah, nothing here I want to be when I grow up. <laughs> this book is huge. Lisa, how many saints are there? I don't know, a zillion? Why are there so many? Well, they have special jobs, like St. Michael for protection in battle. St. Jude for lost causes. St. Valentine for lost love. St. Anthony for lost car keys. They aren't as busy as God, so they can help out right away. <laughs> so all these girls had been born with little red telephone receivers in their hands that rang directly to some hideout where these Superhero saints just sat around in capes, ready to spring into action for them. I need a saint. Christina be astonishing. She swam through freezing rivers, handled fire, flew out of her casket during her own funeral. Oh, she's good. 
Lisa, I found my saint. She can help me find my mom. You're not Catholic. You don't need a saint. I can have a saint. Girls, you are clearly having trouble focusing on your assignment. Take a moment to reflect quietly on your confirmation, saint, and pray for guidance. Lisa, what are you praying for? For me to find my mom, right? Gracie, we don't always know what's best for us. What are you talking about? You don't know what God knows. What God knows? Wait, what do you know? Gracie! St. Michael, St. Jude, forgive me my bad attitude. I may need a miracle here I don't deserve. Would you throw rocks at my window to wake me? Would you throw them right through? 